In this video, I'm going to discuss the differences between variables and objects. So variables are what you create using the primitive data types, such as int, double, char, boolean, and there's also short, long, and float. So any of the primitive data types are used to just create variables. They can just hold a single value. Whereas objects, which are also called reference type variables, are created using class data types. Those are the data types that start with a capitalized letter, such as string or random and, and so on. And we'll see another example soon. So when creating an object, we use the new operator, which allocates space and memory to store the object, and it returns a reference to the object's memory location. So let's take a look at an example and see the differences between objects and variables. In this class called class demo, in the main method, I'm going to create some variables such as int, age, and double price. These are just some very basic variables and notice that when I type the name of the variable age and a dot after it, I don't get a pop-up of methods or things that I could do with the age. That's because they're variables. And let me, I could, but I can assign them a single value, such as age is 20 and price is 34.95. All they do is just hold one value of the correct type, meaning if age is an int, it can only hold integers. If price is a double, it can only hold floating point numbers or decimal numbers. However, I could create things such as string name assign that to something like James and that is not a variable but a reference type variable also called an object meaning if I type name and then I type a dot after it I right away get a list of things called methods which are actions that I could do on that object and let's try one of these out I'm gonna print out system.out.println I'm gonna print out name dot and then take a look at these methods and one of them is the length the size of that name James is five characters another one is name dot to uppercase and that will just return an uppercase version of that string so name is an object also you can create your own class like this example we have this class called person that also has a name and age and these are instance variables this name and this age variable belong only to an instance of the person class or an object of type person and I have getter and setter methods for the name and the age instance variables and just like with strings I can create a person object person a equals new person and notice that I used the word new when I created a person object but I didn't use it when I created this word but I didn't use new when I created string you could create a string the formal way string name shoot. you could create a string the formal way by saying string name is assigned to new string and put James in the parentheses and that's the same exact thing as just simply assigning string name to the string literal James but this is the formal way to do it and either way works and because string is so commonly used they allow you to assign it the same way you would a regular variable but you could also do it this way and string is the only class data type that allows you to just assign it the way that you would to a regular variable all other objects other than strings have to be created using the new operator which allocates space and memory on the java heap to store that object and a is just a reference pointing to that object in memory and since a is a person I could also call methods on person a such as a dot set age to 20 and I can also print out a dot get age and it should print out 20 right there so I hope that explains the differences between variables and objects and also understand why you need the word new there to create objects and although you usually need it for most objects, you don't need it for strings. So it's totally optional to do it this way or to do it this way instead.